And here, uh, in this example, I'm going to show you how to move an image around the iPhone screen using the data from the accelerometer. Now, the accelerometer, it, um, it's, a, it's, it's a device on your phone that uh, it shows what um, direction your phone is facing. Uh, if you look at this graphic here, the Y is kind of right down the middle. If you, turn your, if you roll your phone to the left or right, the, the Y is going to change. And if you, uh, or actually the Y is a pitch. And then with the X, if you roll it up and down, the uh, X value is going to change between 1 to 0. And then last, they have the Z value. This is kind of the yawn or yaw. Uh, we won't be using it in this example, but it's another property you can, you can hook into and get data from. Uh, so to start, um, I have an image on my screen. Uh, I'm going to use that to move, move it around. But I want to make a new Xcode project. Uh, View-based application, go ahead and choose that. I'm going to call mine Excel. All right. And I will drag my tennis ball onto, into my resource folder. Now I got my tennis ball. Okay. Now the code, let's start coding in the Excel view controller dot H. Uh, for this example, the in order to use the accelerometer, we need to we need to include the uh, the accelerometer delegate. Uh, it's right beyond the UI view controller in the H file. The UI Excel Accelerometer delegate. Now this will let us, because um, the accelerometer is always firing off events, but this lets us listen for those events by including the delegate. Uh, in our project, we want a UI image view for the ball, and then we also want a CG point, which is going to be used to move the ball. I'm going to call it delta. Delta refers to the change that has occurred in the ball's location. Uh, then I need to set the two properties for those two things. Property not atomic, retain. Uh, this is going to be IB outlet. And then for the CG point, we don't need to do non-atomic. We just have to say the type it is. It's a CG point and its name. Okay. So the header is all set up. The main thing to remember is we have to add the UI accelerometer delegate. And at this point, let's go ahead and save and then do Command B to build. Whenever you add a new delegate, X, Xcode won't give you the new code hint, hinting unless you've saved and built. Uh, so go ahead and save and build there so we get the, the uh, hints, the code hinting. I'm going to delete this down to de uh, deallocate. Uh, and it's just telling us we need to synthesize, giving us a warning if you did save and build. To get rid of that warning, just synthesize the ball and delta. If you do command B, that'll go away. All right, the first step is we need to do a view did load. In here, we need to set up a reference to the onboard accelerometer uh, so we can catch events from it. Uh, UI, Excel. view did load, UI, accelerometer. Going to name it Excel square bracket UI accelerometer. But instead of allocate, we do shared accelerometer. Now, the reason we do that is because there's already an accelerometer on board, and we don't want to create a new one because uh, we can't. We just want to share a reference to it. And then we want to share the events that it spits out because it's constantly spitting out data about is the phone up, is the phone down, is the phone falling. Uh, we just want to capture those events or capture the data. Now below that we want to set a delegate. Uh, Excel delegate equals self. And what that'll take, the next function we're going to write 
is going to well when we when we set the delegate to self it means this class file is listening for functions related to the accelerometer um, so the next function we write is going to be called accelerometer it catches the event but we need to have the delegate set to self in order to catch the event okay excel update interval this is how fast it's going to send us that data uh, we want to do it one every well it does one time a second but if you divide it by a number say 60 it'll do 60 frames per second and if you so okay you got that uh, last just do the super you did load okay save and build make sure you have no errors and last we're gonna write this function that gets the accelerometer data and as long as you saved and built, you should get the code hints. So accelerometer, this long string, and then at the end of that is curly brackets. What's this saying is, uh, so the name of the function is accelerometer. Uh, it's, it's accepting a UI accelerometer, it's calling it accelerometer, and then it's asking did it accelerate, and then it gives you the acceleration. So it's doing a number of things. You don't need to know what they are exactly, but you do need to be able to see them printing out. Uh, so I'm going to print out the X. X. A percent sign. And the G. So acceleration. And we want to get the X from the acceleration. So this line will print out the X. Now we need a statement to print out the Y and the Z. Let's change my label to Y and Z and change the data to Y and Z. But this is the, this is the number you get. So you're getting the acceleration and the X value of the acceleration. At this point, you can build. Now you have to build on your device. You won't be able to see the acceleration unless you're testing on a device. The simulator doesn't give any feedback for acceleration. But if you open up the console and you'll see these numbers. See all these numbers is flying by. So it's giving us the X, Y, and Z based on how I'm uh, rotating my phone. However, it's just shooting out a lot of numbers and that's because we set it to update 60 frames per second. If you set this slower, like one frame per second or one, one time per second, you only see it once a second. Okay. Now we just want to add our ball graphic and move our ball around the screen. Uh, now we have that, we made a point called delta, and delta has a y, and delta has an x, because it's a point. And we want to make delta y to equal the acceleration y. We want delta x to be acceleration x. The only problem is acceleration is only a number between negative 1 and positive 1. And if we're moving only one pixel every frame, it's not fast enough to notice the difference. So I'm going to multiply both of these by 10. And that will give us a better representation, better visual representation of the, the change that's happening. Okay. Now we need to place the new, the new center point for my ball. And we need to add the acceleration to, or we need to add delta to that center point. So ball center, and ball, the center point takes a CG point make. And we want to offset the current center point by the new center point. So we're adding, we want to take ball's current center. Oops. Ball's current center X plus and then delta x here. And then for the y, we want to take balls, center y, plus the delta y. All right. Now, at this point, if you test, if you save, build, and run, 
uh, on the device, you should see the ball. You should be able to move the ball with your by moving the phone. Uh, but you'll notice really quickly that the ball goes right off the, the frame. So I have some other code here that, that uh, helps keep it in the stage. This has some different conditions. I'm going to paste this in. And you guys feel free to copy it. Oh, I'm sorry. We, it won't. We have to. Uh, we have to link up our our interface file. So go to uh, the View Controller Interface Builder file, the XIB. Open that up, and we need to make a image view. Drop that onto the View Controller or the View, and then. Take our tennis ball that we dragged in and put it right inside of that, that image view. Make it a little smaller because we want to move it around the stage. That's a good size. Then right click on Files Owner. You should have the outlet ball that we created. Drag that onto the ball and now it's set. Save Interface Builder, quit. And at this point, if you build and run, you should see, you should, you should be able to move the ball around by uh, tilting your phone. But as I said earlier, you'll notice quickly that it's going to go right off the stage. So I have some code here that will keep it from doing that. Why did not see the ball? Just double checking on my end that it's working. Okay, and it's working on my end. So you have to test on your phones, and but you'll notice it goes right off the stage. So I have some code I'm going to paste in and let you copy. This will keep it from falling off the stage. So just take a look at that. This fun, what you, There's four conditions, a right, a left, a top, and a bottom. It checks, has the ball gone over the, the, the right, or the, well, this is the left. If it's gone... If it goes below zero x, it makes the new center point 320, which is the right side, but it keeps the uh, the y the same. It only affects the x. And then for left, it does the opposite. If x is greater than 320, if it goes past the right side, then I want to jump to zero, which is the left. And this function is for the top. If y is less than zero, it means it goes above the top. I want to jump y down to the to the uh, the bottom. And then vice versa, for the bottom here, if y goes below 260, then I want to jump the, uh, the image down to the uh, center. Oh, I'm sorry, my code here it's, uh, should be ball for all these images. This is from another example. Yep, just build and run. And then you're set. And that's the uh, the basics for using the accelerometer.